Oh, tell me when I'm live. <laughs> oh, I am live. live. How lovely. <laughs> I can say good morning to everybody. I can have my phone up here as everybody comes in off the bus. And welcome if you're on the replay. I know lots of people will because it's early in America, isn't it? I'm getting into tangle here. Hold on, hold on. I'm all tangled up. Good morning and welcome to Oktoberfest. Thank you, Mary, for, in, for organising the live hops. There we are. Hold on, let me turn that down. There we are. Have I got lots of people to say hello to? Oh, I have. Oh, look at that. Oh, hi. Hi, everybody. <laughs> I've got my, I'm on the phone here. Ben's helping me out today. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Ben. <laughs> Thank you, <laughs> Ben. When I get back to my, to my desk, I will be able to say hi to everybody properly in chat. Thank you for coming over. Thank you, Mary. And thank you, Linda. It's been lovely, really lovely. You made some lovely journaling cards. And I will be able to watch closely Mary's dolls later. So here's my little toucan. And this is just a, I'm going to move on to my desk later. But I wanted to show you my toucan. We called him Tukey. <laughs> And we just made him from chicken wire. Now, Beth, Beth had a brilliant idea. She used the, the former that you make for rugs and you pull the rags or the wool through. She used that and that's nice and soft on the hands. So there's an idea if you haven't got chicken wire. I know Laura has because um, she lives on a farm. And I had some from my father-in-law, so I was very lucky. Now, if you feel overwhelmed by a, a big sculpture, I'll put Tuki there. It's like having a parrot on my shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> um, I made a, a small heart to hang up. Beth made one too. So you could start off small if you wanted to. It's quite hard on the fingers, though. So you might want to use the, the rug former. The rug that's got all holes in it. <laughs> oh, Jersey's doing a, a small heart. Excuse me looking down because I'm reading chat. Oh, Nashua. We've got people here from all over the world. Ben, Nashua comes from um, Egypt. Oh, really? Yes, wow. yeah. Ben's across wow. the desk from me. Yeah. Or, or, um, or as we like to call it in our house, the dining room table. I don't think there's much dining going on on this mainly table. Craft. <laughs> mainly craft. Mainly craft. So a lot of you have seen my toucan, but I thought you might just want to see him the right way so he had lots of buttons and bits and he was a joy to make absolute joy to make during lockdown lots of buttons and bits on him there he is there he is but today i'm going to do a chicken wire craft but I'm going to use rusty bits and pieces I've found. I don't know whether you're like me. Are you like this, Ben? Do you pick up the bits and pieces that you find, or is it just me? I think you do it more than most people. I do do it more <laughs> than most people, yeah. <laughs> no, I do do it a bit. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. Um, you, do, you do things with yours, so I just would leave Well, it. yeah, I've been mm -hmm. not, I have used the rusty bits and pieces for... I'll give him a cuddle. <laughs> I have used the rusty bits and pieces to do the ecodyne. I've been longing to do a sculpture. So I think without further ado, and trying not to make you dizzy, I'm going to swoosh you around 
onto the working desk. Now you've said hi to Tuki. <laughs> hmm. Right then. Oh, where's Freddie? Yeah, he was in the chair. Right oh, he I, was in the chair. The girls know, love yeah. to see Freddie. Right, you swoosh us round then. Swooshing us round. Ah, and now yeah, I can I read the chat. Yes, yes, lovely. Ah, oh, I'm going to spend a little bit of time saying... I'm going to wash my hands because I'm going to touch food. We can't have a Janet stream without testing some food. Kimberly, are you here? Because there's food involved. <laughs> Ben's just had some soup, haven't you? Yeah. Mm. Thank yeah. you. Ah, <laughs> oh, good morning, Mary. Ah, oh, uh, Arlene. Good morning. Food? Did someone say food? Oh, sorry, you haven't had your breakfast yet. Well, we didn't cancel Oktoberfest in Fibsville. Oh, no. We have today, if you use your imagination, I am going to say this is German pumpkin seed bread. And I bought this when I was out and about in Fibsville during the Oktoberfest. There we are. And I'll put some butter on. So I was looking up Oktoberfest and sunflower bread is quite a thing. Sunflower seed bread is quite a thing in, in Germany. Let me just try a little bit. Mm. 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 Very nice. <laughs> it would be even better if it had the seeds inside and on the top. But I temporarily misplaced the seeds. And somebody had to ship them in this morning. <laughs> so, mm. Mm. that is really quite yummy. So, I was talking to the man on the sunflower seed bread stall let me give you the german name for sunflower bread if you can speak german oh sorry i'm knocking you if you can speak german um do excuse my pronunciation oh you did german at school then <laughs> yeah but i don't think it's any good sonnen blumenbrot sonnen sonnen blumenbrot is sunflower yeah. seed bread. Hmm. So I was chatting to the Sun and Bloomin Brot man in Fibsville at Oktoberfest, and he said, Would you mind making me a sculpture for my stall? So I said, Yes, yes, I will. I'll make you a lovely sunflower. Now, at this time of year, the sunflowers. They're just all seeds and round the outside, they're just all shriveled up. So I thought I would get out my nails, rusty nails and bits and pieces and make a sunflower. Let me get that in frame for you. I would do a sunflower head. There are some petals but not a lot it's mostly they're mostly brown seeds let me see if I can get you a picture I had my phone somewhere didn't I when I was chatting to you let me get a picture up of a sunflower seed head now so I started I've, I've been longing longing to use my rusty bits and pieces for things so I started the other day and, oh, I must admit, I thought, oh, I don't think I like it. It's very, very hard on my hands because I'm so used to soft fabrics and textiles. But then I, I had, no, I can't find the picture now. I, I thought, oh, I'll have another go. And I did this second lot during my a Zoom call. And once I've got, got into it yeah no I will try it again yeah so without further ado 
oh yes um laura we have to have food well it's like if people were to come to my house i would serve them a cup of tea and some food and i feel that you guys are coming over yeah oh yes do ben move the camera to show gorgeous little freddie it's not about me it, yes it's all about freddie there he is, there he is. I'm sure the girls don't want to see me. <laughs> oh, look at him. He's tired because when Mary was starting her stream, we were off in the woods, so I have to watch that one on catch up. <laughs> Thank you, Ben. I don't normally have the luxury of having a technical assistant here, but... Is that right? That's perfect. Thank you, Ben. <laughs> Freddy. Oh, thanks, Ben. Keys on there. Keys, yes. Mm -hmm. So I had a little rusty pot of nails and bits and pieces. And I thought, oh, yes, this will be fine. So I started last Saturday, Saturday evening when Ben was streaming. And my little pot, it only, it's amazing how many nails it takes. And bits and pieces so I have had people I've been going to people's garden for a cup of tea and when I get there I say have you any rusty bits pieces in your shed <laughs> oh that's lovely Kay <laughs> oh. people are saying hi Kimberly were you here when we had the food I don't want you to miss out <laughs> So some of them I curl up and some of them I did underneath. I don't think it matters really. But eventually this will all be filled in. But just start small. This is quite big. Start with a heart. I think a heart would be good to start with, a little wonky heart maybe. Ooh, or a pumpkin shape, a small pumpkin shape. And then Meljoy's sister found me some other rusty bits and the copper wire, when I went round to someone's house, they were stripping out copper wire from old bits of cable for me. So, And then somebody messaged me yesterday and said, do you need any more? And I said, oh, yes, yes, please, yes, I do need more. To finish off, I will need more. So I will collect some more tomorrow. <laughs> oh. Freddie doesn't really react when things are on the, even when dogs bark. I think he's so used to me watching YouTube now. So little rusty paper clips, anything rusty. But if you don't, this is just me. If you don't want to do this, stick to soft bits. Stick to soft bits and pieces. It might be more relaxing. I'm going to be sitting down watching the rest of the streams and I would be doing my sewing. But um, it's, it, it's lovely to use all these bits and pieces. Now, I am ignoring you in chat, aren't I? bit there maybe doesn't really matter where we put it I'm not quite keen on it there I'm going to put it in the middle now I, I, I realize this isn't everybody's cup of tea so that's why we invented the if I'm not going to have a craft alarm here we invented the journal where we were threading bits of fabric round didn't we just because it was a little bit more accessible to people. But I thought I'd give this a go. I was inspired by an art programme on Channel 4. The name will come to me, Grayson's Art Club. And he was, he's a potter and he had rusty bits and pieces. This was during lockdown and he was putting all the rusty bits and pieces in his pottery. I found that very inspiring. Ooh, here's one I threaded up earlier. 
<laughs> oh, you say it's the hop. I can't. Yes. Normally, I'm really nosy. I don't like to normally miss out on what's on chat. It's just because it's the hop. <laughs> yes. Normally, I say, oh, pop it in capitals. If I'm not, if I'm ignoring you, pop it in capitals. But I do seem to be ignoring you today. <laughs> oh. Good morning, Asa. I, I, have I seen you before? Welcome. Let me see. And Carla, let me read some chat. I can see that Cheryl's here. Good morning. And Ar Arlene, really nice for you to join me. And Dorinda, how lovely. How lovely of you to join me. So is anyone else like me? They, they collect bits and pieces. You could do it with beads. You could um, wire up beads on a sculpture. This was the first time I did something like this during lockdown. I, I don't think I'd had the courage to do anything like this before. I folded this around a dinner plate. And I make sure all the edges aren't sharp and twirl them round. Hmm. <laughs> Ah, oh, there we are. Let's put some more bits and pieces on here. How am I going to put that hook on? That would make a good petal, maybe. So some of this this piece of wire I did buy because I got into making dangles. So I did buy that wire. So you cut that. And that was for a hook, wasn't it? Oh, you lose things. Oh, it's here. It is quite fiddly diddly, but less so. The first time I did it, it was very fiddly diddly. And then it's got better. You have a YouTube friend that glues things to canvas or on frames and boxes, rusty metal and game pieces. Oh, yes. Um. Janice, I'm so glad you said that. You don't have to use the chicken wire, use a canvas. The other person I got in contact with was my lovely friend, Penny. I said, have you got any leftover broken bits of jewellery? She made a Christmas tree on a canvas last year. Ah, oh, yes, now there's an idea. Thank you, Janice. So it doesn't have to be like this. Yes, her Christmas tree was huge, nearly a metre or half a metre, maybe. I'm exaggerating. So she had some leftover bits of jewellery that she's given me to um, pop on. Pop on the middle. Yeah, good idea. Yes, this is just an idea and uh, you can just adapt it because the program I was watching he was using a huge pottery sculpture that he had had in the kiln and fired and I thought well I haven't got that so what I have got is chicken wire in the shed so yes it's a case of using what you've got maybe and you can see it is a little bit fiddly but I think it'll be a joy to, I might end up giving it to one of the people that's been so kind to give me all these nails, or I might put it outside. Now look, it is very fiddly diddly. <gasps> a wire wreath. Oh, yes. Ooh. Now, yeah, that's why I showed you my toucan to say I'm using rusty bits and pieces. But, oh, now you say it, a wire wreath, yes. With found bits and pieces or do you think ribbon? Melanie made me a lovely ribbony one. I'll leave it like that for the minute. Yes, I think it's just a, it's just a case of we're giving each other ideas. Yes, so any any more... Any more ideas? Just yes. Just shout out in the in the chat. Brilliant idea. 
threading up some of these bits. So I have put some wooden buttons inside. So I'm not quite sure whether they'll hold up when this is outside. I will be putting um, something to hold it up, but I'm not quite sure what yet. I don't tend to look on Pinterest or anything like that because I don't want to be influenced. I just want to see what comes naturally as I work with all the bits and pieces. These are made out of aluminium cans, just cut out and filed a bit and made a hole. I listened to one of Shelley's videos where she was making jewellery out of tin cans, making Christmas presents. That was fantastic. I recommend that. That's Shelley Crafting Mamas. She's on this evening. Uh, if I'm missing you, I do apologise. Deborah, I can see people are talking to you. Good morning, Deborah. Hmm. So, yes, fire off your ideas to the people in the chat and your adaptions. I've got these lovely bells that can go on. A little bit squashed, that one, but I'm not going to reject it. He can go on. This is a vintage button card. Well, it's a bell card, isn't it? But it's from the button warehouse that closed down. So we can have one of those. Or shall I save that for the Christmas one? I'm thinking a Christmas one would be nice. I just had to get using the rusty bits and pieces out of my system. I just, yeah. Oh, Arlene says, many years ago, I made a wreath form out of wire hangers. Oh, yes. Yeah, save the idea for Christmas. Yes, yes. Wow. I remember them doing that on a TV show we have in England called Blue Peter. They made a, an advent wreath out of, of coat hangers. And that's when I was a child. And I think watching that TV program years ago did influence me. I've always liked to make things. I think it's nice to make things out of things you find. Well, there's this little piece of this little piece of bracelet, and I thought, oh, that will make a nice petal. If you go later, to just have a look at the the heads are just on sunflowers at this time of year are just so big and brown with just their little their little shriveled up petals little bit of poetic license there I've put the yellow wire on because I thought oh that'll be nice oh Laurie you love the button card yes well we were I I don't know whether you were there when I told our button skip story but uh, last year a button warehouse was closing down and it was on the it was on the London news and so people and students and people were coming from miles and they didn't mind us doing it. They were happy not to send things to landfill. People were coming from miles away to get things from the button skip. And we were all round there. We had button cards and bells and boxes of buttons and we were all chatting away about what we were doing. And in the end, someone from China saw it on Twitter and they actually bought all the contents from the button warehouse. And when I went, it was, there were crates and crates of buttons and they were going to make an art installation from all the buttons. Gosh, so if you think this is overwhelming, to have, wow, can you imagine? Did you ever see the button skip, Ben? No, I didn't know. No, oh, he's in the kitchen now. He's shouting through the hatch. No, he didn't. No. Oh, it was fun. I don't know where it was, though. Yeah, yeah. 
I didn't even know it existed before before that. Mm. Oh, everybody's getting their coffee, Ben, because it's morning for people. Most people. <laughs> but us in Europe, <laughs> it's the afternoon. Mm. There we are. So, yes. Just adapt the idea to however whatever you would like to make. I love keys. I've got a thing. Well, I've got a thing about buttons, but I've got a thing about keys. I don't know why. Keys as well. I've got a little journal of keys, but I'm being very generous to my sunflower and letting that be on there. Now, you could, I did think of this, you could seal the rusty nails so they wouldn't go even more rusty, but I, I would have used Rust-Oleum or you could use Daddy Vans wax, but I, they go more brown, so I didn't want to lose any of the colour. Get you in frame there. <laughs> so, yes, this is all oh, little bottle tops I collect. Of course, if you're collecting things now, just that disclaimer here, Ben. Uh, this, it, do, do do sanitize your hands or leave things um, in a bag for a while before you use them. Just be aware of the safety <laughs> aspect. <laughs> little little bottle tops and oh, these bits, these these bits here. Let me lift this up. These bits here, you know when you have a champagne bottle and it's got the wire around it? These are the shriv these are meant to be the shriveled up petals. That was from there. Now wouldn't they make nice antennae for a butterfly? We didn't mention that. You could make a butterfly like this. Small, start off small maybe. Start off small like I did with the toucan. <laughs> oh no, I didn't start off small. I started off big. I don't. I had. I suppose I had. It was locked down. I had plenty of time. And it, the beauty of having a project like this is, it's all about the journey. That's what my actually my youngest son said that to me the other day. It's lovely when your children get it. Can you hear this, Ben? Yeah. Yes, yeah, Sam said to me, uh, I was doing something, and he said it's not about. It, it, it's not about the finished product. It isn't for me. I will finish it and there will be yeah. a product, but it's not about the finished product. It's about the journey. Yeah. 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 I yeah. really love it. Oh, oh thanks. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. different. I have a thimble here and it's gone rusty. And Ben, you bought a Dremel, didn't you? Yeah. And have you ever used that Dremel? <laughs> Uh, no, I don't, think so. I don't think you have, but it's <laughs> no. very handy for me. I yeah, will yeah. use. I will be able I think to. Everyone's used it except me. <laughs> I know. I'll be able to use the Dremel to make a little. Yes, Laura. It's 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 amazing when our our um young folks, or maybe not so young. I don't know. <laughs> our young folks, they get it. It's nice when people get it, isn't it? It's all about the process. Hmm. Oh, there's a there's a hair grip here, Mary. That's gone rusty, Mary. You use a lot of those in your art. I'm, I'm trying to think what you call those now. We call them hair grips, bobby pins. A rusty bobby pin there, as a as a petal. Yeah. Oh, Ben. Yeah. Janice's husband has a Dremel. Oh, yeah, I think it's just that sort of piece of kit that. They, they think, oh, it's cute. It's got lots of pieces. Uh, yeah, I'm going to use that. But, oh, Janice, seriously, I've made so many things with them, with the Dremel. I love it. You're welcome. Oh, um, Ben says, you're welcome. <laughs> oh, sorry, I didn't say thank you. <laughs> thank you, Ben, for buying the Dremel. That's what I made. If you're making those little postage stamp booklets, you can use the Dremel for that. Romeo has a Dremel. Romeo has a Dremel, Ben. So you're, yes. Does he use it? 
Does he use it, Laura? Ben says. He prob oh actually, yeah, probably he probably does. He probably does. And Linda wants a Dremel now. Well, Ben his when it was what was that thing that you call that sale? Black Friday. Yes, yeah, so Black Friday is coming up and we do have that in England now. Oh, he has used it. Ah, uh, uh, there you go. Romeo. Oh, you want to use it now. Oh, it's so cute. And they would talk, you know, the um the books that they're that you're making. You could use the Dremel pieces for that when you're they're sculpting books, Ben. Digging down into the book pages. You could use it for that. Ooh, look at this lovely bit. Lovely. Now, some people probably don't think this is lovely, and it, it I, 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 it really isn't everybody's cup of tea. But I'm hoping it will be able to live outdoors. This isn't the only rusty item that we have, is it? Really? Do tell me when I need to go, because um, we are going back. We're going back to Mary, and more doll creating. So do tell me when I need to go. Oh, I broke that. I was too, um, I'm too strong. Oh, Mary uses it to trim the dog's nails. Well, there we are. Oh, Deborah has one. There we are. It's Drimmel, Drimmel Envy. Oh, I'm fine. Thank you, Mary. I love this. Plenty time, plenty time. I think to start with, one goes hell for leather, and then I realise I can I can read chat now. So if I if I ignored you, like Carla, welcome. If I ignored you, um, oh Carla's got one and it's twenty years old. Not sure it works. Well, you could get it out if you want to. Hmm. And now I can. Uses it to notch wood. There we are. Oh, so we, we do have other rusty items. I Actually, I love the colour of rust. We've got um, half a scooter, haven't we, Ben, in the back garden as a sculpture? Yeah. I keep, I keep being... That is very rusty. Ben was on a film shoot and um, they had... It was, what do we call that? Post-apocalyptic. So it was a burnt out scooter. It was already burnt out. Oh, is Janet going? Janet, thank you. If, you, if, if that is Janet going, thank you. You're always so welcome. Teresa, I see Teresa. I see Cheryl. I'm seeing everybody now. I'm seeing everybody now settling in. I could be here. I'm be here all afternoon, actually, now. Oh, thanks, Mary. Oh, yeah. So going back to the scooter, how did we? You had a bigger car then, didn't you, Ben? We, yeah, I put it in the back of my car. You put it in the back of the car. Yeah, pretty heavy. Pretty heavy. I'm not sure whether the girls can hear you when you're through, through there, Ben. Yeah, come round. The girls want to chat to you and see Freddie. It's not all about me, Ben. Yeah, it's not all about me. Yeah, so you had to get this rusty old burnt out. Burnt out that moped in the church graveyard. Ah, so yeah. they did them a good turn by getting rid of it for them. <laughs> yeah, that's so true. Yeah, yeah. Someone had dumped it in there. So you used oh, yeah. it on your post-apocalyptic. Post oh, yeah, post-apocalyptic. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. that's what that's what Ben does. He doesn't make um for a live for a living, but for for your hobby as well, films. He does short yeah. films. Yeah. So, a lot of editing at the moment. Yeah. <laughs> You wouldn't know he does a lot of editing from my videos, would you? <clears throat> I don't need editing. It's all gold. <laughs> Thanks, Ben. <laughs> Teresa, you don't get a coffee. I'll still be here. <laughs> if not me, Mary. 
So I said, oh, we don't want to just dump that scooter. Well, so what happened? Do you want to say how long it was in the side passage? Oh, how long was it in the side passage oh, wow. for? Yeah. How and long? Then, oh, quite, quite, quite a long while in the side passage. Hoda. Sorry. And, and then I, I hired a, uh, I can't think what you call them, like a big saw. Oh no, heart. what is that called? Angle grinder. Angle grinder. Yes, so chopped it in half. Yeah, yeah. And then the front, the back went to the dump, and then the front is in the garden. Yes, yeah. And it's it's a glorious rusty red colour. I love it. Where the light is, sometimes I put like a little plant in there. You need to put a um, like light. Oh there. yeah, um, it needs some lights, doesn't it? Yeah. And I, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I'm not a stranger to having rusty bits and pieces around. <laughs> I think it makes quite a good sculpture in the garden. I think some people, when they come round, probably, do you think they what, think they it's know? odd? Uh, I don't know. Probably Maybe. odd. I don't know. I, I like it. I think it was really cool. Oh, thanks. Yeah. Teresa says, sunflowers always look so happy. Do you know? Yes. I think I love sunflowers. I really do. I really do. Oh, look, there's a long bit there. It's that copper, is it? This is copper that I bought for jewellery making. This is copper stripped out from the inside of recycled wire. So most of it is recycled apart from some of the copper. Is that cheating? Probably is a bit. I like this old hair clip gone rusty. It's lovely. That's easy to put on. Yeah, when I when I that's 